Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today is the beginning of a brand new solo Unturned series where I will be going on a pay to win Russian server and we're going to do a ton of PvP against many groups and geared players and a lot of base raids. The server has some mods, one of them being the stack mod and another one being a building mod. If you guys want episode 2 to come out as soon as possible, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 250 likes. You guys are literally reaching each like goal and going beyond, so I would appreciate it if you reach this one too. Also, if you aren't subscribed yet, hit that button. Literally, each one helps the channel grow a ton and let's get straight into the video. Yeah. Alright, just joined a Russian server. Uh, now, the server is on normal mode. I already saw that. So, that means there's, there's bullet drop and there is kit bonus, which gives me a ton of XP and looks like a maple strike with some attachments. Well, there we go. We are already instantly stacked. Now, I did notice as well that the server is kind of pay to win. So, you might actually be able to purchase admin or VIP or whatever. So, God knows what kind of kits those guys people have. But since it's a pay to win server, I'm gonna guess that there's a guy right over there. Yeah, there's flamers and all of that as well. So, since it's a pay to win server, I'm gonna guess that there's going to be like abused bases probably so that's what i'm really going to be searching for and maybe there's going to be like insanely stacked people as well there's a guy right over there already he seems like he's a solo so i'm gonna push down this hill the server is pretty much full as well there's a bunch of group there's some villains as well i'm going to assume that everybody is going to be rushing as well yeah, there's bullet drop. He's hiding right behind. Uh, I could actually push him because now I'm gonna assume that he's going to be hiding in there. He's not going to move. Since he's a solo, he can't really TP. Oh, he's in there. Hello. Oh. What is he doing? I hit a maple. All right. Well, he's dead. Yeah, maple strike. Right, let's take that. Nothing that special other than that. All right, some dressings as well. All right, so probably one of my main things I could try to do is try to build a base somewhere close to military. As soon as I hear shooting, I could always try to counter. I think that's a pretty good idea. Well, the server has a kit called Kit Hong. Oh, gives you a bed and lockers. All right, we could actually spam that if we really want to. All right, since currently I don't have a base, I am going to go put these next to the water, underwater, a bed and some lockers until I probably just have a base of my own. So that way, if I die, I still spawn very close to here. And since it's underwater, they might not even realize. So I'll place that right over there. We'll place the lockers as well. And when I get extra guns or something in particularly special, I will just home and put them in here for now. Since this is a thing, I'm going to assume that there's going to be a lot of empty lockers around the map. Yeah, somebody's shooting over a military. We should we could go and check it out. Also, since there's kid bonus, everybody's going to be running around with a maple strike. Nobody is actually going to be naked. So it's going to be a bit more challenging for us to actually survive. Oh, he's right up there. Hit him, I hit him like twice. I'm in a really bad position and I barely have any ammo. He's just hiding up there. Yeah, he's he sees me. I think it's like a render thing. Alright, and he's dead. Okay, well, I literally almost ran out of ammo. He did hit me. I'm just gonna go over there, pick up his ammo mostly. There's a one by one over here, so I'm gonna go check it out just in case that is his. Let's take the Elise back. Yeah, I heard steps inside metal. I yeah, he's back. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Yeah, he has... Okay, well, he just basically did kit home as well. Let's just salvage it. Let's destroy his bed. There we go. I'm gonna assume that there's absolutely nothing in those lockers, so I'm not gonna waste... Oh, there's a guy in here. Hello? Oh, he wasn't AFK. He was moving. Alright, he has a steely blowtorch stack of metal. I actually do need those blowtorches, so that, that's kind of good. I'm gonna go back and put it in a locker. A blowtorch later on will be useful to make charges, to make lockers, so that's actually really, really good. Well, I hear Deagle shots over at military base. I'm gonna go check it out. Deagle is a part of that bonus kit, so I'm gonna assume that he has a maple strike as well. Yeah, there are some zombies moving in there. I think he's right behind that fence. Maybe I could shoot the fence. Alright, the zombies are actually going to kill him for me. Yeah, he's shooting down the zombies now. Alright, he's dead. This guy really started running away from the zombies. Alright, let's check out what loot he has. I think he just has the bonus kit. Maybe he looted military before or something. Yeah, well, grenade, actually. Wait, what? Wait, the zombies are not giving me any damage somehow. Alright, well, that's kind of weird. Wait, why aren't the zombies actually giving me damage? That's, that's not normal. Alright, well, I guess zombies on the server don't damage you. Let me actually check again. Yeah, they're not damaging me. Why? There's a guy there. I hit him once. Oh, he's dead. Alright, he only had a cobra. Oh yeah, I thought he was actually much more geared. Oh, he almost killed me actually. Alright, let's check out what loot he has. There's another guy. I'm dead, of course. Alright, well, it looks like we found a duo. Alright, let's go home. Now, I'm pretty sure I did leave a maple strike. Yeah, it's a, it's a duo that both, that's both villain. Right, we actually did find the only people I wanted to find. Well, the problem is we're right next to my bed. So if I die one more time, they could easily find my bed. 
Uh, they're already shooting at me. They already know where I am. Alright, there's no way I'm gonna win this though. They're both fully geared and I'm just a maple strike naked. Alright, let me try to push up. I don't think they can see me from behind this small hill. Yeah, I don't think he has an idea. They might think I'm still behind the tree, so they might try to flank me. So from here, I get myself a literally better position. Right, yeah, he actually is trying to flank me. I don't think he knows that I moved. All right, that guy's in the water. Hold on. All right, he's dead. This guy's in the water. All right, let me just do a kit really quickly to hopefully get meds in it. Yes, perfect. Oh, right, he's right there. All right, he's dead. All right, he had a PDW. Let's med up. All right, there we go. We killed the villain duo. All right, PDW, Maple Strike. Full Thief, Spec Ops as well. Alright, that's some really good loot actually. Let's go check out what the first guy has. This guy has a drum as well. That doesn't come in the kit, so that's actually really, really good. Alright, and this guy had... Okay, actually fully geared. A hundred metal. Oh my, okay, that's really, really good. Alright, we gotta go depot all of these into my lockers now. Hopefully they didn't actually see my lockers. Right, he's dead. Sorry, not getting shot at. There's another guy. Oh, well, this was the same guy that I found earlier that was just chilling in here. I think he wants to genuinely build a base. Alright, we did manage to escape. Let's med up. Oh, I'm getting shot at by an ace now. Alright, hold on. Let's push this guy first. Alright, he's dead. Let's med up. Alright, this guy might actually be pushing me as well. Alright, he's dead as well. Let's med up once again. Let's take their loot and then go depot. Let's go check out what this guy over here that I've killed also has. He has a zoo back. Alright, he's still... Alright, let's kill this guy. Alright, so by the time I actually went back to base the depot, this guy came back, closed his door. Now I'm waiting for him to hopefully come out, because he's just going to be in there blow searching by the looks of it. Alright, he's literally standing still. He's dead. I don't know if that's the owner of the actual base. I don't think he actually has anything, so we might try to ditch him. We did take all of the loads anyway, so I don't think he's gonna have anything that special in there. But yeah, this guy just has the kit, kit bonus. We'll take all of that, lots of ammo. Now the problem is we actually need to make lockers, because it is literally full of all of those guns that we've got from that really rich duel. So probably next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself some lockers. I do have a blowtorch, I do have that 100 scrap, so it really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oh. This guy's really hiding in a bush, man. Well, it looks like we're playing Fortnite. It looks like somebody else actually killed that Fortnite guy. So that's kind of good. We could go try to go back. He wouldn't expect us at all. Unless he does slash home, probably. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, same guy. Now we're gonna get the loot from him and from the Fortnite guy as well. So that's pretty good. Looks like a bunch of loot, actually. Nightcraft, Scaler, a bunch of Maple Strikes, Night Vision... An umbrella. Yeah, that my umbrella was mine, actually. Alright, let's take what's really important, and then we'll go back home. Well, there is a tower camper. Just wait till he stops jumping and he's dead. Let's go check out what loot he had. He did seem kind of geared. He had night vision, and he has uh, two maple strikes, some raw explosives. We'll actually take all of those. Some grenades as well. Well, earlier I did see this Russian APC on PI, so we're gonna take it. We're gonna lock it, and there's actually a timber in vault. That's actually really, really good. We got ourselves a raiding weapon. Now, I'm pretty sure the only way that you can get this APC is uh, either a kit or pay to win or an admin. So that right there, that's definitely a pay to win. A lot of shooting happening at the back of military. I think it's two guys as well. Yeah, it's definitely two guys. I think they're just killing zombies at this point. He's right over there. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, I think he killed the other guy as well. I don't think they were actually a duel. Yeah, there's a loot pile over here. Yep, two lockers. We'll actually take those because we're running out of space. And let's check out what this guy over here had. Looks like he had a maple strike night vision. Two maple strikes actually. And a bunch of ammo. And there's a guy right there. He's dead. Yeah, the maple strike for sure. Right, and he has a maple strike. A lot of metal actually. Let's kill these zombies. Another guy dead. Alright, he looks like he has some lockers, a chainsaw, blowtorch. Yeah, these zombies are so weird, they don't damage me. Alright, so for that day I did leave the server, there wasn't really anything special going on, it was getting very late and a lot of people started to leave, so I joined the next day, when the server was pretty much full once again. Alright, well, maple strike shots happening over at military. It is pitch black as well, so I can't really see anything. I don't have night vision on. I think I left them all in my lockers. And there's night vision right over there. I already see two people. Yeah, actually, it's a four-man team now. All right, yeah, we should try to push this four-man team. If I die, I die. If I do kill them all, then it's going to be very epic. All right, one of them dead. One more dead. 
Let's med up really quickly. I forgot to bind my meds. Alright, third guy dead. I don't know where the fourth guy is. Let's clear these zombies. Yeah, they're actually stacked. Alright, well, uh, a bunch of loot. Let's take everything. A bunch of maple strikes. This guy had an Icarav. Alright, and this guy had high cal, two more maple strikes, a bunch of raw. We got 200 metal scrap, that's actually insane. We could probably try to build our own base with that. I actually don't know where the fourth guy is. I don't think he's actually not next to them. Alright, well, there's some shots happening over at Stratford. Or maybe I could try to build my base over here. I think this is a good spot, actually. Well, I did do kit home and I've got myself two lockers. For now, I'll just place them all in there. Because I'm gonna assume that they're going to be trying to come back to kill me. So this way, they won't actually get them. I did leave a lot of loot back there, so I'm gonna go and see what else I've left, and hopefully I'll get over there and not die. Place a bed over here as well. I do. I know that I have another bed next to the water, but for now this is a bit better loot. Especially that 200 scrap, because with that I'm going to build a full metal base. Alright, well they are actually back. One dead. One more dead. Third guy dead. And they're, they're all here now, yeah. I did clear out three of them. Almost got the fourth guy. Oh wait. Right now he's dead. Well, that was very messy. I thought I actually killed them both. Right, he's dead. All right, yeah, he's TPing them back. All right, I think I killed them all. I think I actually cleared cleared all four of them. All right, well, maple strike. Let's take all of the good loot, all of the guns. Let's see what else we've left. We've left some raw, some grenades. That's actually really, really useful. Let's fill up as much ammo as possible for more space as well. Over here looks like nothing that special. A gas mask. That's normal. And over here, I'm pretty sure that I killed that one guy as well. Yeah, a bunch of more raw actually, and a bunch of meds. And that is the end of day two. The four-man team rage quit, and it was just me and another guy, and I didn't really want to search around the whole map for one specific guy, so I did leave as well, and then I joined on the third day. Alright, uh, we are joining back. Hopefully my lockers are still all there. Well, there's a base over here. I don't think this was here yesterday, actually. Well, there's definitely more people than yesterday today. And yeah, my lockers are still here, actually. That's really good. I did leave some guns. I did take the 200 scrap with me. Today, I actually want to build a base with that. Because yesterday, I didn't really feel like it. Well, first, I'm gonna run around the map, see if there's any new bases. Let's get ourselves the daily lockers. There we go. We'll place ourselves all of these extra guns that I logged off with. They did destroy my bed, though, but thankfully not my lockers. Alright, he is dead. Some guns, maple, so he just has the kid by the looks of it. There's a guy there. Alright, they're both dead. Let's go. This guy has a maple strike. Oh, he's back pretty good now it is time to actually start building the base uh, and the base is done this is literally my base got a two by one full metal and these are all my lockers so i'm gonna place everything that i have inside all of these lockers and we finally have ourselves a base after like literally three days on the server we have just built our base Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for the first episode. Now, on the second episode, things start getting a bit way more intense. We're going to do live raids. We're going to do a lot of PvP. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!